Hello YouTube, this is NJ for Water 5 and uh, I finally got my fans in for uh, the Opus mod. Um, I was talking with Terry, uh, Texas Terry, uh, Power to Spare uh, on Facebook. He's got his own uh, e he's got his own eBay page where he sells batteries already pre-tested and from what I hear, uh, the batteries you get from him are almost spot on. He sells them in like, I believe, 2,000 to 2,200 milliamps, 24 to 26, you know, and so forth and so forth, all the way up to 3,000. But uh, he had an opus and he decided that he would throw himself a little fan on there so that he could, you know, speed up the cooling because we all know how these opuses like to get warm on us. So, uh, it's been going around everybody's been doing their little hacks you know adding the fans on their uh, opuses and so I figured you know why not give it a shot myself and uh, see what I could do so I just got off I just got off uh, off the phone I just got finished chatting with them over there on Facebook and I want to just make sure everybody's aware this hack is not mine this hack is Terry's hack uh, I'm just recreating it um, so, uh, I mean, if you have any questions about the hack after I'm done, I'm sure if you give him a chat over there on Facebook, he'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, I was talking with him and he said that the only issue he's seen is a few times he's had the uh, pins on the Opus go out with the plug. And, uh, he said he thought maybe it had to do with uh, the heat blowing in or something like that. And said he couldn't figure out how to make it go in reverse. But I told him that you could probably mount that, you know, with the whole side in instead of mounting it right here. Because this is one inch too. But it takes some little, you know, ingenuity to get it to work with the Opus. I may try to do one like that. And then I may try to do one, uh, the original hack. Um, not sure yet. So I figure I might as well just get into it. See what I can come up with. Um, and I figured uh, I would share it with you guys just in case you guys want to see how it was done. Uh, also, in one of my videos, I did the unboxing on the TS100. And I have not got a chance to use it. So, I know this is kind of light stuff. I'm not even sure if it's worth uh, pulling it out for. But, uh, might as well give it a shot. Not really no instructions on how to connect everything up. It just kind of gives you a little like tutorial, picture tutorial. Let's see if I can get that on camera. I mean, it looks pretty basic. It's so small, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. All right, so if you get these, these are the same ones everybody else is using. If you kind of look at it, kind of look at it, the end is open. And uh, let me grab some, let me grab my calipers real quick so you guys can see the specs on here. All right, so I'm gonna put it on millimeters for people abroad okay so it looks like the hole oh, I guess we'll do it the correct way 16.84 millimeters by 16.84 got a little lip there by 26.13 19.32 by 30.70 
Uh, this should be somewhere around an inch. Twenty-eight point six thereabouts. Forty forty point nineteen. Forty point forty five. And of course you got the screws. Make it even longer. Fifty four. 55 and I've seen this put two ways I've seen uh, one guy put it in this way and Terry puts his in this way he said they seem to fit better this way um, I'm not really gonna know how I'm gonna do it until I get into it But just the outside hole alone looks like it is 24, 18, by about 24, 18. So we're looking at probably close to an inch. Yeah, 0.95 an inch. 61 64 so we're good all the way around okay so we'll get the fans out that way I can make sure once I do the mod I'm gonna do it the same on all of them We will start with the Opus. I've already, I've already did a lot to so we'll open up the back. It's off. Move it aside. You can see my hack, or it's not my hack. It's just a hack I found online. It looks like there's some kind of spongy material there. So we'll unplug it. And then, uh, remove it, I think. Actually, it looks like uh, there's some uh, glue on mine. Actually, there's glue on both sides. Interesting. I don't see no channel in there anywhere. So it looks like this kind of just fits in there. It actually kind of fits in there a little bit, I think. I have to look at the other one. It just kind of sits on the outside. It looks like if you're going to be using this, you know which way, because you know if you're going to be mounting it, if you're going to be mounting it like this, you can probably use this like this. Maybe, maybe glue it on. That might be a way to help hold it on. I guess we should actually look at the top part too.
It actually looks like no matter which way you put it on there. I guess it just depends on how you fit it. Even if I was to stick it like this, it wouldn't give me a lip to hold. Okay, so I'm only guessing. Looking at this one. Looks like the taper goes towards the top. So that's probably how you want to keep that. So the taper goes towards the top and you're mounting it this way. Then you want to take the taper and do the same thing. Okay, to keep everything flush and give you more to glue on. Probably find the middle on here and then uh, super glue it, something like that. Um, if you super glue it something like that, um, the ends are gonna plug up these two little holes. And it looks like the only hole you might have to add some hot glue or maybe another piece is a top piece. It doesn't look like there's no getting out of that. Okay, so I got to looking at this and it looks like there'd be more surface area if we glued it on the bottom. So I guess the only thing we could do is uh, give it a shot. Grab some Gorilla Glue. So I set it in there. It looks like it actually goes in like this. Okay, so now that you got it set in there, looks like you want to go in like this. And uh, as long as the super glue holds, you should be fine. I should give it a little bit more time. So I'm gonna stick a clamp on this and uh, let it sit. I'm gonna find something I can trim and maybe stick right here because I don't wanna stick super glue. And uh, I may find something to stick here and here too. All right guys. So just to show you guys what I did is I took it from this and I pulled off the face, there's like a little plastic housing that goes on the uh, actual, the actual fan goes like clipped in there and then it gets pushed down into the compartment. Well, I took it and I glued it on the edges. I glued it all the way around so now it's nice and sturdy. It's not coming off. Uh, this right here and this right here are covered by the Opus. Uh, the only part that wasn't covered was this bottom piece and I believe what other uh, modders were doing was they were just running the wire through there so that way you know they didn't have to re-thread it or you know drill any holes so what I did is I went ahead and I put a small piece of plexiglass there I mean I had a bunch laying around so I just took a little piece and I trimmed it up to where it fit and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a small hole that'll fit this wire through. And the reason why I'm doing that is just so, you know, just to keep, you know, I, I want to try to keep as much air going in one direction as possible. All right, so if you missed it, uh, hopefully I, I'm probably not gonna post it, but uh, I got in a conflict with uh, the voltage on the bat Opus uh, fan is 12, point, 12 volts, 0 0.04 amps and this one is 5 volts, 0.2 amps. I'm not sure if it's the way to go, but 
there seems to be conflicting results you know on Facebook some say that it looks fine they never have an issue I'm just gonna finish the mod make the video quicker okay a lot of people were just leaving that open and they would just feed the hole through there before they you know after before they before they soldered on the smaller the smaller uh, plug so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trim the plug And I'm sure that I'm sure you could trim this, you know, quite a bit. But I'm gonna leave mine long. I can always go back and shorten it later. But this is my first mod. I'll find out. You find out, mom. You find out. You find out what you mainly need to do for the rest of them after your first mod. But slip your slip it through the hole. You want to do this before you put on the uh, before you put on the uh, smaller plug. Test out this new, uh, this new uh, comes on says version 2.18 press top one and it slowly warms up. I think it said the beginning voltage is 300. In it. I think B is standby. Or does it just go on standby whenever you set it down? I'm not liking this cord though, this cord's kind of heavy. See the wire keeps getting in the way I can't hold it down on the board correctly.
notice the body kind of gets warm too. So you hold your finger on the button to turn it down. And I guess when you're done, you just unplug it. It's kind of weird. And of course you want to make sure it's tinned up before you unplug it. guessing before you figure out where the wire gets placed. It's probably right there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna add no no uh, super glue to this just yet. And I'm sure I can add a dab there and a dab there. You know what? Can't do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So you add a dab here and a dab there, and it should be fine, right? And I think I grabbed uh, I'm gonna let that dry in place and then uh, come back and uh, screw on the back and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I guess this is pretty much wrapping up the video and uh, I mean it took a lot longer than it should have took but I just kind of wanted to walk through it and you know, this is my first time doing this, and I'm sure the next mod is going to be way faster. It's not going to take nothing, but you want to make sure, too, that you tuck in your wires. You don't want them, you know, you just kind of want them out of the way. Uh, probably on the next one, I'll probably make the wires a lot smaller. I'll probably trim it. <laughs> probably that much. I might do it later on to this, too. But this is the first one. Um, as long as I don't have any issues with the voltage, like some people are mentioning they might, they're having, uh, it should be ready to go. Um, guess it all very it all depends. So you just throw your backpack on there, take your screws. Place them back in the holes. Yes, I have sausage fingers. Make sure she's tight. And uh, 
and that's it. That's all there is to it. I might tuck this wire in a little bit later on. I may even trim it. I'm not 100% sure. The next Opus hack should be a lot quicker than this one. This one I just had the uh, questionable fan spec. So just be forewarned before you do this. The fan is a 12 volt 0 0.04 amps. Uh, the fan everybody is using is 5 volts 0.2 amps. Uh, Tons of people are saying they haven't had one single issue using the 5 volt plug, so I'm assuming that should be fine. Uh, this might run a little bit faster than it normally would on, you know, 5 volts, but um, assuming everything's working by wattage, um, this is only going to be putting in a half a watt to this, which would be about half of the half of the uh, power. And if that's the case, there shouldn't be no issues at all. So um, that's all there is to the hack. Um, pretty simple to do. Anybody can do it. I think these are running around $8 on Amazon. You might be able to find them uh, cheaper in China. I got these in like two days, but I think it was because of the way I purchased them. Uh, this again is not my idea. This is actually uh, Terry's idea from uh, Power to Spare. I think they call him Texas Terry. Uh, I'll make sure to leave a link to his uh, Power to Spare website or Facebook site, and I'll make sure to leave a link to his uh, eBay page. Um, if you have any questions, you guys, uh, you could probably hit him up, or or you can hit me up. Leave me some comments down in the comment section. I'd appreciate it if uh, you uh, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you guys in my next video.